Hey guys, what's up? Is Nort here, and today we're gonna to be doing a little shorter video, uh, but it is gonna be a little bit on the on the sensitive or the sensitives and the the feeling side of things. So today is February thirteenth, twenty eighteen, uh, and a lot of questions I get on my videos is like on the outro song. I'm keeping it consistently and now to a specific song. In the past, I would just jump it around to whatever song I was currently listening to, but now it's it's always going to be the song that you hear now. So a lot of people ask me what's the song uh, they really like and stuff like that, and it's called Be a King by uh, E-Double. Now, so going back to today's date, today is the one-year anniversary that E-Double, he was a rapper from Philadelphia, passed away. And uh, <clears throat> he passed away of a full-body infection uh, when he was in the hospital. He had a they didn't. They couldn't find out what it was. His hand swelled up really big. Uh, you can actually see the picture here. But yeah, he died of a full body infection last year. And so I just kind of want to talk about the impact he had, not only on me, but I think YouTube, like montages in general. So for me, what he did is uh, I was never really a big music uh, guy until I would always ride with my brother to school and he he listened to E Double. So like E Double always had these Freestyle Fridays where he would just. Find a beat that was already a song, and he would go over that and add to it. And it does. Animalistic with your instincts. Walk around confident that your shit stinks. Leave your mark on them. And you can't be bargained with shit. So I'm not going to sell any margarine. Don't buy it. Keep trying. Save your strength for what you've been eyeing. Both eyes open. Patches ain't pirate. Caribbean dreams are unseen. But I digress into the present tense. We are hesitant. Ain't one of us heaven sent. Emotions build up, so you better vent. Stick out like sore thumbs and then leather vest. But even in that thing, you are not an animal. Even in hand in on the avenue. Fanny pack looking like a kangaroo Whatever you need to keep up that mandible I shit is just too hard on this bitch But I And then that was the first time after listening to him Where I had like kind of like an emotional tie to a song Because like it made me feel something I guess Like I don't know I would get pumped up I'd be super hyped I don't know it, that, That's why I think because of him is the reason I enjoy music so much today he was a big words guy he liked he liked a lot of wordplay so i like i tend to like rappers and other musicians that focus on words rather than beats so yeah after like listening to him for a little bit with my brother i finally got onto him myself listened listened to his stuff just for me and that's when it really took off because he had a huge impact on my life because i was always a gamer so something about his music just fit so well with playing video games that it just I don't know. It just made me feel good. And then, so that's why I've, I've made a playlist on my YouTube channel called Siege Montages. And a good portion of those montages actually are his songs. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link to the playlist in the description. But yeah, and it's not just me that you'll see E-Double montages. His main popularity is from the Call of Duty montages. Because with his music, it's so well made where you can sync up. Because like a lot of my montages are music syncs. They're synced to his songs. So like when you hear a beat drop whatever it's generally synced to like a kill or a explosion or something so what i want to get across with this video is that if you haven't checked out e double or not even e double himself but go watch uh just like search e double montages on youtube and just listen to how inspirational he was as a musician to feel all these montages videos and whatever his goal was to make it big as a musician and i don't he was never really able to do that because he always did these freestyle friday things and like he didn't put money on them or copyright himself so i just feel bad because he died at a very young age from something that could have been couldn't have been seen and couldn't have been prevented and the doctors had no idea until it was too late he was the most impactful musician that's ever been in my life and that's why i always like to pay homage i guess that's why i have him as my outro song that's why he's the most used for my montages but if you have the time in your day go read his story listen to his music because it really is an underlying message to every one of his songs and it's uplifting and the message really truly speaks so with that being said guys thanks for tuning in if you watch the whole thing that'd be much appreciated and I know this is kind of sappy feelings, but I don't know. I feel like I needed to make it because a lot of people ask, what's the outro? So I wanted to give some story behind it. And since it is the one year anniversary of his death, I thought I'd fill you guys in on a brief story of himself. All right, guys. Well, that about does it for this one. 
again, <laughs> sorry for the, for the downer, but I feel like I needed to talk about how impactful he was. But I'll be back with another video. It's going to be a tips and tricks video uh, where I'm literally going to say every thought that comes into my head while playing. So hopefully you can get a better understanding of what to think in a situation. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one.